welcome to Bajtians. In this short video, we'll be doing an install for the front amber side marker on this FK8 Civic Type R or Civic Hatch Sport or any other model that uses this side marker. To start off, it's pretty simple. You just want to make sure that your whole surface area is nice and clean. You want to make sure that there's no liquid or water in between the creases. And what you're going to do is you're going to use the alcohol wipe provided and you're going to clean the whole surface area. Make sure that you get towards the back here and in between all the creases, specifically towards the top portion of this amber signal. So a few tools you may need is going to be a squeegee, a micro squeegee, and a poker or a more or less a threading needle if you have. It's very simple in case for the bubbles and stuff like that. First things you're going to do is that you're going to take some masking tape and we're going to mask off the top portion of the fender here where it meets the side marker. After you've done that, this is what your batch skin looks like and we'll remove the specific batch skin simply by peeling it off the backing. And then we're going to line up the front and the bottom edge to the side marker. So you can start off by just eyeballing it. If you need to make adjustments, you can just peel away. Once you have it where you feel comfortable, you can start tacking it down right where that crease is towards the front of that fender line. And then you just gonna work towards the front. So that air bubble that you see there is actually the imprint of the lettering. So you will, I'll show you how to get rid of that later. And here you just work towards the, the back, same, same, same method, or you can use a squeegee and just work the vinyl down after you've done that what we're gonna do we're gonna start removing the masking from the front towards the back but we're gonna stop just before we get to the back edge there and you're gonna grab the masking you're gonna fold it towards the inside and you're gonna apply pressure on that edge and you're gonna squeegee that back side of the basket onto the back side of the side marker now you can remove the massing altogether. We're just gonna tack everything down. Oh, as you can see, I got a little air bubble there. I'll show you how to remove that later on in the video. So now we're gonna try and tuck the top portion of the vinyl down. And in this case, it's better to use a micro squeegee here. So, just work your way through, front to back. You start right where the crease is, and then what you wanna do is just apply some good pressure. Don't be afraid to really stick that micro squeegee in there. Apply a bit of downward pressure to create a gap between the side marker and the fender, and just push that vinyl in. And after you've done that, you can remove the masking tape. And here, as you can see the bubble from the imprint lettering of the side marker, all you have to do is take a Threading needle, poke a bunch of holes right where the lettering is. And then we're just going to take a heat gun and we're just going to wave it over that area. You don't want to sit there and concentrate on it hard, but you just want to move it around, get some heat going. You'll kind of see the vinyl kind of loosen up and then you just press down and there you go. It molds to the lettering. So once you're complete, doing that you can just heat treat the whole reflector and then as you can see right here i got a little bit of air bubble that i showed you earlier we just poke a couple holes and then we're just going to take the heat gun again and just wave it over and it'll dissipate the air bubble and then we just squeegee it down and clean it up very simple i hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.